Why do you prefer conjugate over other styles of training for BJJ athletes? What's up guys, my name is Josh Setledge. I am the BJJ Strength Coach. I'm doing a quick Q&A here on the YouTubes, answering some questions that I got from Instagram. Before we get into it, I do wanna let you guys know that I have a free four week full body strength program specifically designed for wrestling athletes and jujitsu athletes. So if you're a wrestler or a jujitsu athlete and you wanna get stronger, you wanna start winning more matches, you wanna decrease your risk of injury, if that's you, then click the link below in the description. All you gotta do is just drop in your email. I'll send you the free four week strength program directly. No strings attached or anything. I just wanna add some value to you guys and help you guys get started in your own strength journey to enhance your performance on the mat. So let's go ahead and get into it. Our first question here, why do you prefer conjugate over other styles of training for BJJ athletes? That's a great question. I wouldn't say that I prefer conjugate over other styles of training because like conjugate is the best or because conjugate is king and everything else sucks. That's not what I'm trying to say here. I've just found that a conjugate style training approach works a little bit better with competitive jujitsu athletes as opposed to say linear periodization, uh, block training, daily undulated periodization. You look at some of these different training programs and sometimes the training program forces you to dedicate a lot of time just to that training program. So if you look at uh, like linear periodization or block training, all that basically means is that in simplest terms, a block of training can be okay. This is a hypertrophy block. We're only gonna focus on hypertrophy here. And then on this next block, we're only gonna focus on strength. And then the next block, we're only going to focus on peaking you for competition. Jiu-Jitsu athletes are competing all the time. You know, maybe this year they're not competing all the time just because of everything that's going on in the world. But under normal circumstances, some Jiu-Jitsu athletes, especially the really competitive ones, the ones that are actually looking to make a career of competing, they're competing twice, at, for sure once a month, most of the time more like two, sometimes even three times a month. And because they're competing so frequently, they don't always have the amount of time to dedicate to like, hey, I'm just gonna take three months off of competing and I'm gonna go through this 12 week hypertrophy block. Sometimes that happens, but a lot of times it doesn't, at least with a lot of the athletes that I work with, they're competing all the time and especially when there's money on the line, they don't wanna be giving up opportunities to get paid. So they need a training program that allows them to, or allows us as a coach and athlete relationship to vary the training as need be to make sure that they are focusing on getting stronger, focusing on getting more explosive, and we're really attacking and hammering those weaknesses, building up their general physical preparedness, helping decrease the risk of injury, all that good stuff. Now, if everything I just said doesn't really make sense because you don't know what, a conju what the conjugate system is, let me break it down for you. The conjugate system originally came from Eastern Bloc countries like Russia and Bulgaria and all that stuff. And basically conjugate, to my understanding, is just change. Everything's always changing or, or there's a lot of variability in the conjugate training system. Louis Simmons, who's a strength coach and powerlifting coach, creator and founder of Westside Barbell, he took the conjugate method and really popularized it in the West when he was using it for powerlifting. Now the conjugate method, the simplest way to break down what it is, is just that you train four days a week. One day is dedicated to the lower body and you're lifting super, super, super heavy. You're lifting maximal loads on those days. Another day is dedicated to the upper body and you're lifting maximal loads on those days. And because we're talking about power lifting here, that could be a squat or a deadlift on your lower body day. And that could be some sort of bench press variation, sometimes an overhead press variation on your upper body day. So those are your maximal load days. And then you have your dynamic effort days, which are going to be your maximum speed. So you don't lift super heavy, you're only lifting anywhere between 50 to 70% of your one rep max, and you're lifting and moving the bar or moving that weight as fast and as explosively as possible. 
So you have two really, 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 really heavy days and you have two really, really, really fast days. Now what's great is that that breakdown and that structure of training translates very well actually into sports. You wanna be able to be really freaking strong, super strong. The strong no one ever lost a jiu-jitsu match because they were too strong. But you also gotta be really powerful and really explosive and really fast. No one ever lost a jiu-jitsu match because they were too fast. Now, you take those two ends of the spectrum, someone may have lost a match because they just weren't strong enough, and someone may have lost a match because they weren't fast enough. And so what the conjugate system allows you to do is you can kind of plug and play this system of training wherever the jiu-jitsu athlete is in their year-long competition schedule. So a lot of times when I start working with an athlete, I have them do about two weeks of kind of an intro phase, filling them out, kind of seeing where they are. Okay, how in good a shape are you before? How familiar are you with some of these exercises? How much training volume can you handle before you start to get so sore that it starts to negatively impact your jujitsu training and all that stuff. And once I have a good understanding and a good foundation, and a good knowledge of who the athlete is and how I can help them, then we start plugging them into the conjugate training system. So one day is gonna be a really heavy day for the lower body. That could be some sort of zerker squat, some sort of sumo deadlift, a block pull. Uh, sometimes I'll mix in a good morning or some sort of heavy split squat or lunge movement, but a lot of times the good mornings and the split, split squat slash lunging movements are saved as a secondary exercise. Another day we go really heavy on the upper body, so we'll do like a floor press, a landmine press, a, a kneeling dumbbell press, a Z press, all sorts of different pressing movements. And on the other two days, we focus on being super explosive and super fast. If someone's experienced enough, that may look like banded deadlifts or banded squats, but a lot of times it's a lot of jumps, it's a lot of medicine ball throws, clapping push-ups or plyometric push-ups, different types of bounds and skipping drills and things like that. And it just translates well to jujitsu athletes because we can kind of, like I said, plug and play this system of training in the middle of a competition season. Take that with a grain of salt. If someone's going to compete in two weeks, I'm definitely not going to just throw them like, hey, you're going to max out on squats today. That's not, that's not what I'm saying. But when you have an athlete that competes very often, the conjugate system of training allows us to help them continue to get stronger, continue to get faster and more explosive, continue to work on their weaknesses without necessarily completely getting them out of shape for their next competition on the mats. Thank you so much for watching everybody. Hope you found this video valuable and informational and found it helpful in your own strength training journey as you continue to perform well as a wrestling or jiu-jitsu athlete. Again, if you want to check out my free four-week full body strength program, all you got to do is head over to setlagestrength.com. That's S-E-T-T-L-A-G-E-S-T-R-E-N-G-T-H.com. Sign up for the newsletter, or you can just click the link below in the description here. All you got to do is drop your email. The free program will get delivered directly to your inbox, and we'll start working together, helping you win more matches and get injured less. Talk to you guys later. Peace.